I ask my track, the person is still conscious, trying to kick in air when it cannot because the, the, the throat is constricted. So agonal breathing is when the person is unconscious and it's body's natural way to try to kick in air. The second thing that the video didn't explain too well is when they talk about cardiac arrest. Does anybody know what the difference is between a cardiac arrest and a heart attack? Or is, is there a difference? So when I say you're having a heart attack, and when I say you have a cardiac arrest, are they the same thing? Right. So Kathy does not, but why, why not? Why are they different? Heart attack is more like a part of the heart that's not working. Very good. So it might be um, uh, not just tachycardia. It might be one part has paralyzed itself, one side that, that sort of thing. So heart is not functioning. Very good. Correct. Yes. Okay. But so what I'm trying to time. say is, okay. So when you're having a heart attack, when I say you're having a heart attack, it can last for hours or even a couple of days. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, it hurts here, but it's okay, it's okay, I'm fine. So the person's having a heart attack. Okay? But when, when you have a cardiac arrest, three minutes, if you don't get help, you die. Okay, so that's the difference. Heart attack is a muscle problem. Cardiac arrest, electrical problem. When, a, when it's a muscle problem, part, as Kathy pointed out, part of the heart starts dying, but it's still trying to pump blood. But when you have a, when I say you're having cardiac arrest, that means it's a flatliner. And in three minutes, if I don't do something to help you, do CPR, continue to give you oxygen, continue to press through the compression and try to squeeze your heart, you will die. Another thing is they, they they say tick aspirin. Does anybody know why we give aspirin to somebody having a heart attack? Mm -hmm. Blood thinner. Blood thinner. Yeah, exactly. They won't clot. They won't clot. I, I know the students are asking me what what's off? How do you think that's off? So <laughs> uh, so you have to be a Saturday uh, night fever uh, uh, fan, eh? What question? When I'm doing a CPR, right? Uh, she already put it there, the pads and stuff. Yeah. And I'm, the machine said, keep doing it, right? So when I finish it, uh, she should do it back again, or just once she has to put the pads on? You keep going until the machine tells you to stand back again. For another oh, machine no. automatically will. We tell you to yeah. stand. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand the question. Can you say I'm doing a, a CPR, right? Okay. She brought it. Yep. She put in the pads and stuff like that. Yep. So we stand by, right? So Okay. That, so as soon as you as soon as you place the pads, right. the machine yeah, will that's... know that she's she's pressed the pads because it makes a short. Correct. Once it makes a short, then immediately whatever I as the AED tell you to do, do exactly what I say. So I would prop, most likely I would say as soon as I can as soon as me, the AED, right, right. can sense a short, a short right. then I would say stand back. Okay. And then as soon as I say stand back, everybody put up their hands. And like this. Yes, yes. like this. Right. So, so that everybody, yeah. including the bystanders. So, so one time she has to do it or? No. no. It will. One time. So you mean one time just putting the pads? Pads, yes. Correct. Just okay. one time. Okay. That's one of my question was. But then after that, if she take out the pads. No, the pads okay. don't come off. Yes, right. the pads she doesn't take the pads off. Leave them on until the parents get there. Oh, okay. So it means we have to leave it on on the pad? Yes, yes. And the parents come. Okay. It, yes. it, it and I don't have to do the CPR. Oh, it'll, no, it'll start to do the CPR. Yeah. Um, so it'll shock it every so often, but it won't, but it won't be. It won't be like, okay, I've done my job. You can stop now. No, no. You, it'll tell you continue CPR. Uh, the 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 AED tells me to keep doing the CPR. 
Do you know what? I think we, that's important for us to clarify. Uh, yeah. Please don't worry about it because I totally get it. You're the first time taking this course. Everybody is confused, first time. Um, so why don't we do it this way? Let me, Sean and Alham, let's do it and then everybody just watch. Because maybe it'll be confusing.